India is entering the small nuclear reactor race. The government is focusing on small modular reactors, also called SMRs, with at least five planned for deployment by 2033. These reactors are part of a bigger vision, as India aims to achieve 100 gigawatts of nuclear power by 2047, a key milestone in the Viksit Bharat journey. Small modular reactors, or SMRs, are a new kind of nuclear power plant designed to be much smaller and more flexible than the huge reactors we've seen before. Instead of towering structures that take years to build on-site, SMRs are compact units, typically generating up to 300 megawatts of electricity, about one-third the output of a traditional plant, enough to power a small city or industrial site. They work by splitting atoms in a controlled chain reaction, releasing heat that boils water into steam to spin turbines and produce clean, low-carbon electricity without burning fossil fuels. What makes them special is their modular design. These reactors are mostly built in factories like assembling cars, then shipped to locations and plugged together like building blocks. This cuts construction time from over a decade to just a few years and slashes costs by avoiding weather delays or massive on-site labor. Safety comes built in too, as their smaller size denotes less fuel and heat, so passive cooling systems can shut them down automatically if needed, reducing meltdown risks through gravity and natural airflow rather than relying on pumps. Beyond electricity, SMRs can provide heat for factories, desalination plants or even remote communities off the grid. They're gaining traction worldwide as a bridge to net zero emissions, with prototypes already testing in places like Canada and Russia. The Department of Atomic Energy, or DAE, is leading the effort with Bharat Small Modular Reactors, or BSMRs. Each unit is a 220 megawatt electric pressurized heavy water reactor, or BHWR, designed to be compact and efficient. These reactors require less land, making them ideal for industries such as steel, aluminium and metals. SMRs are not just about energy, they also support India's push for cleaner and smarter infrastructure. The government is investing heavily in this initiative. The 2025-26 union budget allocated 20,000 crore rupees, which is roughly 2.5 billion US dollars, to accelerate research, development and deployment of SMRs. The first unit is expected to start operating by 2031. There are also plans to amend the Atomic Energy Act and the Civil Nuclear Liability Act to attract private investment and facilitate international collaboration. Currently, India operates 22 nuclear reactors with a total capacity of 6.78 gigawatts, contributing about 3% of the country's electricity. Power demand is expected to rise from 250 gigawatts in 2024 to over 350 gigawatts by 2030, putting pressure on traditional energy sources. SMRs offer several advantages over conventional reactors. They can be built faster, cost less upfront, and can be deployed closer to industrial hubs or remote locations. Private companies are joining the push alongside state-owned Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, or NPCIL, and the National Thermal Power Corporation of India, or NTPC. Plans are underway to replace aging coal-fired power plants with SMRs, signaling a shift towards cleaner and more flexible energy solutions. International collaboration is also part of India's strategy. Talks are ongoing with technology leaders from Russia, the United States, and other nations to combine domestic innovation with global expertise.